Welcome to this episode of this letterbox. Yay! So happy to be back. Uh, I haven't felt like making any letterbox videos for so long because Flinton's PC is broken and I feel I've been feeling down, but now I'm up mostly because of the cocaine. Fuck! First question is from Franco asking if I would kill a puppy for 10 million. Yes, I would kill a puppy for 10 million. Not because I condone killing animals, but because I could use 10 million and take care of all my problems. I'll just kill some fucking sad little puppy that has some sort of disease that would kill it in seconds anyway. Boom! 10 million. Donate 2 million to a dog shelter somewhere. A puppy shelter. Fixed. No more quarrels. That's fucked up. That's fucking fucked up. Next question is from Water Panda. He's asking if I can show you guys my workout progress. Yes, I could. I could. Uh, if you don't know, I've been working out lately because I, I started to gain a lot of weight because I started working in an office where there's free hot chocolate and I love hot chocolate. I stopped drinking that hot chocolate because that hot chocolate made me go fat fat. Yes, I could. See, I've lost weight. I, I hope, I hope that, I hope I look sexy. Let me just, oh, oh yes. Hopefully we go further down the fat scale and farther up the muscle scale. Pfft, muscle scale. The next question is from Nafil. Uh, he's asking whether I'm gonna go get the new Mountain Blade Bannerlord. This is a little bit, it, this question is old, okay? But I wanna, I wanna answer it because I feel like if you aren't playing Mountain Blade Bannerlord, but you play Warpan, go play Bannerlord. It's fucking great. I, I love it. I, you know, I could play it all the time, but I, I have work. I have other stuff to do. I stream every day also, so. But I would play Bannerlord more if I had the time. And yes, I definitely think you should buy it. Next question is, also from Franker is asking, Boo Boo, how do I hide my cum sock? I would be the right type one to ask because I, I never used the cum sock. Uh, I don't know how to hide it. Well, I can tell you a little story though. I had a friend who hid his cum sock, you know, behind his bed. So like it was towards the wall and he, he hide it like in between the bed and the wall, right? The only little problem with that, the small little problem with that is that his dad one day goes in like, I gotta find laundry and then he takes the laundry and finds this cum sock, puts the cum sock in with the other clothes, and you know that's it's kind of fucking nasty to be honest. Because in that cum sock, there's like months of dried cum or something. You know, it's just being washed with all the other laundry. That's fucking nasty. So that's not how you hide your cum sock. I would recommend maybe like just you know go to fresh clothes, like wherever you're keeping your fresh clothes, hide it like underneath something, maybe in a plastic bag if you're like me and will think that's nasty. That way no one will mistake it from from laundry and uh, accidentally wash it with your other clothes and then you have fucking cum all over your clothes. Farian is asking, am I the only person who grew up never using a cum sock? Nope. I think a lot of people don't use cum socks because it's fucking nasty. I, I'm gonna admit here, I, I've used a cum sock before just because I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what is all this fuss about. I, I can't recommend it. It's just like you just put a suck on your dick. It's like wow, wow. It's a it's a suck on a dick. It's a suck on a cock. If you're gonna make it rhyme a little bit. If you don't know, all these questions pull from my Discord, uh, where there's a text channel called the Letterbox where people can type the questions. And I looked up. And I was just I was going through old old questions. And this one is from 22nd of 3rd, 2019. And Silver Elf is asking. Why is the EU banning memes? This is back when the article 13 or, and they changed it to article 17, I think or something. And everybody was like, oh, they're banning memes. They're banning memes. Because no one understood or even cared. They just looked on, they went on YouTube and they saw the favorite YouTuber go like, oh, they're banning memes. That's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. It's not what happened. Man, no, the EU was never banning memes. I just felt like bringing this up again because it pissed me off. Fuck all of you YouTubers out there that strum up or bring up this drama for no fucking reason. Make people hate the EU because they're banning memes. Fuck you, fuck you. They were not banning memes. They were protecting us from, you know, people just claiming shit. Article 13 was also supposed to protect content creators from having their content stolen, aka reaction channels that just sit there like, eh. 
Okay, enough ranting. <laughs> enough ranting. Sifu Hotman is asking, by the way, Hotman is one of the hottest men I know. I would, this is actually why I work out, it's to, so I can impress Sifu Hotman, trust me. He sent a snap of his body, and I thought he was like a little nerd, a fat little nerd, but no, he's a fucking ripped dude. He sent me a snap of his body, I was like, fuck, I'm fat compared to this guy. I, I need to work out, I need to be like Sifu Hotman. Sifu Hotman, just ask, Letterbox when? Well, right now, right now, fool. I don't get these questions. We're gonna go have a little tantrum here, or a little, you know, a side path. Whenever you're asking, letterbox when? It's the dumbest question, because I'm not gonna answer that question before I'm making a letterbox. So that makes you look like a dumb dumb, because you're literally asking when, when it literally is uh, happening. Damn it! Stupid ball. I'm just kidding, Sif Hotman. I get the joke, it's just bad. <laughs> Let's move over to something more a little bit serious. The question here is, what do you think uh, was the most important thing as a creator for you to change? And I, I assume Bob in here, Brewmaster Bob or Bob and Wood, means to change about me or change my attitude or something. And I would say the, the thing I have to change or, or learn or do better is ignore bad criticism. Fuck off! And then like, when people come with constructive criticism, I should take it positively react to it positively. Let's say I'm in a bad mood and someone starts criticizing something I like, I'm like, oh, fuck you, you son of a bitch, I'm gonna destroy you. Can't always happen. I'm really, it's fucking hot in here. I closed all the windows because I didn't want the traffic from outside being noisy, but holy shit, I'm sweating now. Uh, as if AS, also known as Oakenshield, uh, is saying, please say, Sunset found her squatting in the grass, groaning. Every stool was looser than the one before, and smelled fouler. By the time the moon came up, she was shitting brown water. The more she drank, the more she shat. But the more she shat, the first year she grew. And her thirst sent her crawling to the stream to suck up more water through her butthole. That's a nice little story. Oh my god, I don't know if you can see it, but like, I'm seriously sweating. This is insane. Let me get some paper towels. Oh my god. Next question is from Just for Smoke or Just for Ali. He is uh, asking, "What is Denmark a city?" That's not even. That's a legitimate question because Denmark is such a cool country. We actually have a city in South Carolina named the Arthurs. It's in some sort of county. Uh, so yeah, Denmark is also a city, but it's also a country, a fucking awesome country. Actually, it's not even a, it's a kingdom, bitch. It's a fucking kingdom. I can dunk my balls in your face, because we are a kingdom. Next question is from hashtag from your real son, or under Wolf Amelia. He's asking, if you had unlimited amounts of money, what would you do? Well, first thing I would do is wipe that sweat off with real dollar bills. Fenton is asking, can Sabubu edit his videos himself? Yes, I can. This video is edited by me because you PC broke, you son of a bitch. Shut the fuck up, Flinton, and just do your work. I kidnapped your family. I did all this hard work for you to edit my videos, and then you come with this lame-ass excuse like, Oh, my fucking PC broke. I don't fucking care. Do my videos, you slave boy. Do I have a whip? I don't think I have a whip. Imagine me whipping you. Wesley is asking, when will I be in a Wolf is asking, why are you running? Uh, I'm not actually running. I am more like stepping around because I don't know what to do with my feet. I could be dancing as well. Yeah, see, I'm dancing, baby. Poochie is asking, what's your tattoo and why is your sister drawing naked girls for you? Give me a second. So, my sister made this for me when I was, uh, when I turned 19. And there's this lady here. I think this is the one Poochie is referring to why my sister's drawing naked girls for me. I mean, it's a hot girl. What do you mean? Also, maybe some of you etchy boys out there would like this angel. The other question is, or there was like two questions. What's your tattoo? Well, that's the thing we're going to do today, like, except answering question, is we're going to go and we're going to finish my tattoo. Because, like, I've had this late lousy. Let me show you the tattoo right now. Right now, my tattoo looks like this. It's, it's, it's cool, it's, it's all, but it's like, it's not how I want it. It's not how I want it, it to f be finished right. So, come with me, and we go to the two artists, and we just, uh, be awesome. Let's go on a trip. Gay poo-poo, gay poo-poo, just a gay poo-poo. 
Always use two hands on the bicycle kids. Don't be like me. back from the tattoo guy so let, let me be honest here this is recorded before the tattoo part i still haven't gotten it but i don't have time to record it whatever let's just pretend now i'm back from the tattoo guy okay <laughs> what the fuck was that noise uh anyway last question of today thank you for watching by the way leave a comment saying hey we want to hear the last question come with some constructive criticism how could we make this better how could we make this better how can we possibly make this better? I don't know. Last question is from Dein Freund. Uh, that's German, by the way. Dein Freund, it means your friend. Uh, Dein Freund is saying, ask reward for solving the equation. Uh, he asked, he did some fucking stupid equation before this. And I, I was like, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to take the question. Here's a quality question. Do you try to keep your human life separate from your raccoon life? How do you cope with the lack of privacy of having a camera running every day in your house? So, uh, do your boyfriend know you're streaming? Well, my, there's no camera running 24-7. Uh, that's, that's the first one. 
uh, the lack of privacy. Sadly, it, nobody can recognize me. I haven't ever actually experienced someone recognize me, so I have lots of privacy. I still walk around naked in my ha uh, in my apartment, and let me show you. The streets are literally right there. Like I walk around here with my penis out, just like if ding dong, ding dong, you know. I, you know what you always do when you're naked? You you do this little swing swing, so you go like, boom, boom, it works. Like, it's kind of funny. It's always is funny when you're naked to look at your ding dong, a little bit swing swung. And then you pull up your penis and you do the, the balls, you know, the old bells. Gotta make sure they work, man. Of course they do. Uh, yeah, so there is a lot of privacy is what I'm saying. I don't even care that people might be able to look in. I mean, who would it hurt the most? To be honest, I think it's the most damage to them. The last one is, does your boyfriend know you're streaming? No, he does not know. I'm streaming also because he doesn't exist sadly on that note. Thank you for uh, stopping by I'm sorry. It's so hot. It's summer in Denmark, and it's like 25 degrees or something and I'm fucking melting I don't care what you say. You're probably gonna be like hoo -hoo, I want this coat. It's 40 degrees where I live. Yeah, you know what you fucking person living in What Sahara? I don't know get out of there. Why are you there? It's too hot. I don't know man I've, uh, My brain is melting. Thank you for watching click the subscribe button uh, Join our discord. Bye. Bye my raccoon citizens Think again. I am going to speak my mind and you are going to listen.